This week on Simply RV, we end up parking beside a discotheque. Okay guys, so I went to my appointment this morning. I left Lewis. He's doing some work back at the Whole Foods. We had breakfast there this morning. We went to the Planet Fitness early at seven when they opened today, Saturday, and I left him over there. And then I came over here to my appointment here at the Hotel Embassy in Orlando. Okay, before I go into more details about boondocking in Orlando, I want to tell you about my new place to spend a day if you have to work on the road. Whole Foods, wow. You get free Wi-Fi, tables, air conditioning, bathrooms, and microwaves, and sometimes toasters to warm your food. It's my new love, especially when they offer economical pastries and coffee. It's a great place to spend all day and shop for healthy groceries, too, when you're traveling okay, on the road. now I can go on to the Orlando Boondocking Park. There's $15 overnight parking at the Embassy Hotel if you guys just want to dry camp near everything in Orlando. You could do that with your RVs, is pay at the hotels $15 to dry camp. There is security there, and you can use the amenities at the hotel. I didn't dry camp there overnight. I just showed up this morning to my appointment, and then I left out to take a class this morning for Christian school. They want to teach us some of the things that we have to implement into some of the cadets when they come home during placement pass. So I took the class here in Orlando with some of the other parents. Uh, I got to turn here. So, sorry, I'm driving around Orlando. There's a lot of traffic here on Saturday. Getting to Disney, some of these hotels do provide bus service. Not included maybe with the $15. You, you saw the video that I did that I talked about staying at the Embassy Suites in Fort Lauderdale where they charge $27 for overnight dry camping. But you're entitled to the amenities of the hotel. You can eat if there. Mile, take the entrance to the a lot of these places, you can do that here as well in the uh in the the disney area and just pay 15 dollars and take buses to disney world you don't have to pay for parking over there so it's almost worth it because parking at disney world is about 15 dollars and if you can park overnight at a hotel for 15 dollars use their amenities in the evening showers whatever um, well, i don't know if they have showers maybe at the pool they have showers but you know, it might be worth it investigate because, I mean, I'm not doing that, but I'm just giving you some ideas of some of the things you can do in busy areas like this and, and pay a lot less. Later that day, I met up with Louis to overnight at the Cracker Barrel. After the Cracker Barrel closed, the party got started. So I'm sitting here, it's 11 o'clock, I'm like, it's bedtime, but hey, just told him I said hey we can't go to sleep you want to go join me at the disco he said no so I guess I'm on my own like this video please give it a thumbs up please share it and please subscribe follow us on social media hey guys my stickers are available so go down to the video description so you can get yours just like mine